Hey guys, Thor Capital Jake here, and today I'm doing Leviathan versus Intimidator 305, the Battle of the Giga Coasters. And, um, I know I've been doing a lot of these battles recently. Trust me, they are gonna stop soon. Don't, don't worry. Um, I can't real. I'm trying to get my Magic Mountain trip report up from, uh, last month. <laughs> yeah. And I'm also trying to, well, continue on with the Coaster Olympics, since I'm not the Coaster Olympics. Coaster Manufacturers Battle uh, Battle Royale, since we have a tie and nobody's breaking it yet. I suppose I could just get rid of my vote, but let's just move on. Um, if you don't know the uh, height category, I mean the score system, just go watch uh, Teron vs. Manta. Um, so, our height... Leviathan's height is 306, and Intimidator for 305 is 305. Since one foot shouldn't really determine three points, I'll just give them both three points. Speed, same story. Uh, two miles an hour shouldn't determine three points, so they're both going to get three points each. Length, Intimidator 305 ended up being a whole minute long, from drops to breaks, and Leviathan was one minute in... 10 seconds from drop to break, so Leviathan will get the 3 points. 9 to 6 Leviathan. The drop, where I-305's drop is steeper, and will provide better airtime than Leviathan's, and I think it just overall looks better. And so it's going to get 2.5 points, 9 to 8.5 Leviathan leads. Intensity and Intimidator 3.5 takes us without no question. Easily one of the most intense coasters on the planet. And will easily beat a B&M. Airtime. I see a lot more airtime on Leviathan than I do on Intimidator 305. Mainly because Intimidator 305 kind of has like a, a low to the ground layout. So it's going to be 11 to 10 Leviathan's lead. And I see a little bit more uniqueness in Leviathan than I do uh, Inti Intimidator 305. Since it is Canada's fastest, tallest, and longest roller coaster. That is just super unique to it, and it makes it really, really awesome. Pacing, and Intimidator 305 never lets up, ever. It's relentless from start to finish, never slows down. But Leviathan starts to lose some steam going over those airtime hills. Um, yeah, 13 to 12, Leviathan's lead. Layout, and in my opinion, I think Leviathan has a way better layout than my opinion. Intimidator 305 is mostly banked turns. Where Leviathan has some maritime hills with some bank turns, and overall just mixes up its layout better. Theming, neither has outstanding theming compared to the last round, Terran vs. Manta. These look like complete jokes, but Intimidator 305 has NASCAR themed cars and has the gentleman start your engines thing. And overall is just really, really cool, well, for what it is. Color scheme. Leviathan's paint job is certainly really cool, and it beats a coaster that looks like it was sponsored by McDonald's. Sorry, Intimidator 305. Operations, both are relatively quick, so I'm both gonna get so they're gonna both get a point each. It's 17 to 14 Leviathan's lead. And Impact, both really put their park on the map, but Intimidator 305 is really why coaster enthusiasts come to King Dominion. <laughs> Canada's Wonderland already had Behemoth and Vortex, which are really, really cool. Where King's Dominion didn't really have too many uh, outstandish coasters before Intimidator 305. And the winner is, by two and a half points, Leviathan is our winner. Intimidator 305 is going to put up a really, really good fight, but it doesn't really have airtime, and its layout is kind of meh. And Leviathan has more than enough stats, and some are even better by a little bit, to keep up with Intimidator 305's intense elements. Overall, Leviathan is the better coaster. But if you want to see a um, park battle between King's Dominion and uh, Canada's Wonderland, please go like the video, and if the video gets 5 likes, then I will do a, um, a park battle between those two parks. Next time on theme park coaster battles. And please comment your ideas, just do it, please. I'm starting to run low on ideas. However, CoasterFan3657 gets a pass since he gave me some of his ideas in a Skype chat. And we have Maverick at Cedar Point versus Helix at Leesburg. This is gonna be a really cool match and I can't wait for it. 
And which compact coaster do you think will come on, out on top? Post in the comments your opinion, because this is going to be one wild ride. The West was never this wild. <laughs> oh, bad jokes and puns on Maverick's name. All right. I'm Throw Capital Jake, and I'll see you guys later.